What we have is a nice, moderately smooth, for knitting, shaped edge for our entire sleeve cap, which we are going to sew into the armhole. We're going to use three different kinds of seams. The first one we're going to use where the, at this bound off area, then we have these decreases right along the edge, and then we have some stitches that are straight up that will butt into an armhole that's like this. So let's start with our corner bind off. I'm working with the sleeve ca cap toward me, and those are those little four bound off stitches in my case, and I am going to insert in the center, again, the top center of the last stitch, right from below, coming up. I'm going up to here, and do you see what appears to be a stitch? It would appear to be your very end stitch. I'm going to go under those two loops, come back down, go straight into the hole I came out of, from underneath, come up in the center of the next stitch. This is actually a Kitchener or weaving. Up here I go essentially behind what appears to be a stitch. It's not really a stitch. I'm working in a half stitch. Go down into the center of that one. This is not the only place you can use this seam. When I get this finished, you'll see what it looks like. You have two bound off edges coming together. They will be a half stitch apart. But if you're careful on how you pull these stitches, this tension, it will look as if the two pieces have actually been knitted as one. Do you see that? That's an invisible seam. Okay, now we're coming to the next section where we have these bound, or these decreased edges. So we have some bumps and glitches along here. And you remember that I told you earlier that I generally preferred not to do this, but for this edge it seems to work the best and you ought to have this alternative. You could always move those decreases in one and then you could work into um, the entire edge stitch. You could do a single stitch weave or even a half stitch weave if you wanted to. This first one where there's not a decrease is a little bit tricky but I'm going to go into the end loop and into that first stitch. Come out the one above it, what would look like the bound off loop or the decreased loop. On this side, I'm going to do the same thing. Go into the loop, go into the stitch, come back out the edge loop. Now we're getting into our decreases. Insert into the outer loop, into that decrease, go to the loop above it. In this case, you are not going into the hole you came out of. Find where your decrease is, insert into the outer loop, the loop of the decrease, and then come back out through that loop. You continue this until you've worked all the decreases. After I've completed this decreased section from the armhole, I'm going to go ahead and go up here. Earlier you notice this little green marker, it's a crochet marker. I folded the sleeve in half and marked the center of the cap. And you notice in all the seaming that we've done so far, I don't use any pins. This is the first place. I am pinning with a safety pin because I don't like using straight pins in knitting because they always fall apart. I am pinning the center of the sleeve cap to the shoulder seam that I had knitted together earlier. And that will give me a chance to ease the sleeve cap in along here. Now this particular kind of knitting comes together fairly often. What you have are stitches that are coming up like this or stitches at the top going into rows along here. And again we're going to do a real similar version to what we did down there, a kind of Kitchener. But I like to start by coming into the top of the stitch. Notice I don't ever work along an edge, the bind off or the little um, leaning over stitches. Right into the live stitch that you see there. Come up through the center and now I'm going to go over. Here are the two end stitches of the armhole. This is where you picked up the sleeve on the drop shoulder. And I'm going to pick up, oh, two of those, sometimes one, sometimes two. I'm going to pull it fairly tight this time. 
come back into the center of the stitch you came out of up through the center of the next top stitch that you see come up into the center you're just moving one stitch every time coming up into the center of the top stitch going along this channel and picking up either one or two this the shaping of this particular sleeve cap causes me to have to pick up two almost all the way along. Some sleeve caps you'll find if they're fuller, you'll have to pick up two and then one. Let me see, how's that eyeball? See, that's eyeballing in nicely. You do that particular stitch, look how that looks like, one nice stitch along the edge there, and it looks like this almost was knitted, it almost melts right into that. You complete that all the way around until you get to the other decrease section like that, which you do like this, and then finish it off the way we started with that Kitchener over the bind offs. And when you're finished, I'll show you what the sleeve looks like. This is what you have when you're completed, a nice smooth line all the way around.